Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's OK Mall. Today we have episode four of our Arna shield build. So our goal today is going to be a little split up. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is travel up to the Herbalist Hut to unlock the uh, the priest's inventory. So we have a lot of healing supplies ready for Manshire. The other thing I would like to do is most of the items, if not all of the items we have already stolen from Osbrook are ready to be sold. So we can make even more money here. I want to do that. Um, it's at the very, very start of the episode, so we have all this money and cash flow uh, for Manshire. After which, before we even start on any contracts, we're going to walk all the way down to Bryn. Once we get to Bryn, there is a location down there that is going to have a free, I think, medium uh, kite shield. And we're going to use that next. And that should synergize very well with Shield Bash, allowing us to hit pretty hard against any enemies that we face. And I definitely want to have that shield ready for the Manshire contracts. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and loot all of the items and get these sold up. Our first stop up is to go to Mr. Hold here. He's got 1300 gold. This should be plenty. We'll sell everything off to him. Uh, yes, loot everything else. Even the bison horns are sellable. Let's go. Go ahead and sell those off, sell the rope, may as well. Inside of the apothecary, he also has his stuff ready to be looted. Bolt of cloth is lovely to see. We'll go ahead and sell to Margaret. Sell that, sell this. It's not much, but I mean, I think it does make more money at her than it does anybody else. Old Bert, how you doing, my guy? Um, Bison horns for 140. Bert is broke, so we can't sell to Bert right now. Maybe all these little cheapo items. Okay, that's about as much as Bert can handle right now. All right, Mr. Elder, what do you got? Take, take, take. Dog pelt, not going to bother with that. That's only, that, that's 10. I guess I can take it. Ooh, yeah, let's go. That's only two and 10. Uh, I think he had the bison pelt, right? Oh, I didn't think it would be sellable now. We'll come back later. And the last one's going to be empty. Step back in here to Mr. Hold. Sell, 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 sell. Sell the rope. I'll just sell these off to him as well. May as well. Here we go. I don't know where to sell this to, though. Oh, 140? He sells, he buys it for the same amount that the general goods merchant buys it for. And then the bear fat, we can sell to the innkeeper. Mr. Innkeeper! Go ahead and take the bear fat for 56. Fantastic stuff. So from here, I just need some uh, some food. Take this uh, food along with me. And then we're going to head all the way up to the herbalist house. Get that taken care of. And then we'll meet back in Manshire. All right, guys, we were not paying attention. We were just running. And <laughs> I just came across three wolves. Let's get the frick out of here. Probably take out one. Maybe two. Oh, that's not good. I just wasted a turn there. But uh, from the looks of it, I can get away with only fighting one wolf. Yeah, one wolf is coming with me. Oh, God, I'm so scared. If I go like right here and the wolf goes there, I may be able to use shield bash. Oh, he's got a dash maneuver. I wasn't paying attention to that. Good counter. There we go. 26%. We got him. Maybe. If I can hit him. Okay, so we killed one wolf, which is good to see. All right, we got away from the wolves. Grab that backpack, slap that on. Actually, you know what? Doesn't matter. Grab, grab, grab. And the old remedy book. Go ahead and read that up. So like I said previously, we'll meet back in Manshire. All right, finally back in Manshire. Go ahead and talk to the... Uh, the priest here found the old herbalist buck. I talked to him again about the herbalist, telling him that he's all 
he's dead. Whatever. Right? And we want to pick up two ID scrolls to drop those off to the ground. Leave and then come right back inside. Talk to him yet again. And pick up two more ID scrolls. Perfect. I want to get a couple of healing supplies. Nothing crazy, because we're all we're gonna do is head down to the um uh, down to Bryn next. Like I said, we're gonna get a free shield down there. Which should help us immensely when it comes to fighting the Manshire contracts. Hey, we just arrived at the abandoned siege camp. There should be a shield around here somewhere. Maybe we'll grab some other items, just to kind of sell those off. A ladle. Still not. There it is. The council heater shield. Um, let's see here. Block chance is 20%, much, much higher than the fist shield. We have some other negatives, though. Our dodge goes down to nothing, so it's pointless to have the rope belt. And our energy gets decreased by 10, and energy restoration gets decreased by 3. But block power gets increased and everything else, so we'll use it for the time being. And since we are in Bryn, I may as well sell off the books, hence why I brought these with me. Go ahead and read this. And we'll sell it off. And while I'm also down here, I want to steal everything that I could possibly steal. I want to try to make as much money as possible in the near future, right? Because we're going to have a lot of issues when it comes to money. If we're going to go all heavy, uh, shields are expensive. Heavy armor, super expensive. So we're going to be basically broke by the time we hit Amity level. Uh, next place up is the Elven Shop. I gotta be very careful what I'm stealing here. Because if these guys, it's like almost nighttime, they're gonna be closing up shop here soon. There we go. Just move everything over. Perfect. Next up, we'll pop into the Golden Grain Inn. I wanna take this Golden Candle. Candle Librum. Put that over. It was a candelabrum, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, this person here, um, uh, I'm gonna have to wait until they go to actual bed before I steal the rest of this stuff. All right, now that we're in the jewelry shop, let's go ahead and loot everything from here as well. Put that over. I'll uh, take a ruby and a jade. Golden cup. Loot the barrel, the nightstand next. That's be sellable. Nightstand's gonna be empty. Head upstairs. Wait for these guys to go to bed. And we're gonna steal some water. I'll probably move everything over. Oops. Give me that back. That's mine. Yeah, may as well take it. Money's money. Can't be too picky. Slide it all back over to this chest here. And then loot this nightstand, which is probably not going to be anything inside. No, completely empty. The next shop we went up to is the pawn shop. I figured since it's the middle of the night, this is probably be uh, the best opportunity to come in here and steal. Ooh, good, good stuff inside. Nice. Head upstairs. Wait for them to go back to bed. Steal from here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna steal that stuff. It's garbage. Inside of the chest, what do we get? Bear fat. Okay, so it's a, it's pretty decent loot, right? We've seen better, uh, but I have also seen much, much worse. All right, we only have three more places left to loot. Uh, this is going to be the uh, Blacksmith Bailiff. Loot everything. Pick this lock. Nightstand's empty. Manchai fortified. Peasant shoes. Head upstairs, see what else we can find. The Elven Ice Wine. Nightstand's going to be empty. A wardrobe. Loot it all. Pick this lock. Nightstand is going to contain nothing. The barrel. 
Take the alcohol. And then we gotta offload it all. There we go. Carpenter Bay lives up next. Loot. Move it all back over. Grab up the mead. Check out the nightstand. Peasant shoes. I don't think it's I don't think I've ever gotten lucky and found anything inside of these nightstands. I I I, I keep checking just in case one day. But yeah, nothing. Upstairs, we're going to loot the chest. And the golden candelabrum. Candelabrum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, loot, 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 loot. And the barrel. Put that over. Our last stop here in Bryn is the Carpenter's Bailiff. Take a quick look inside. We have the peasant shoes. A bottle of oil. The barrel. Empty. Move this stuff over. Next barrel. Can't take any of that. Unlock. Nightstands. Always going to be empty, I swear. And then we'll head upstairs. Let me guess. Empty? Yeah. I'm going to stop looting those places. Uh, water. And the golden candelabrum. Candelabrum. God, I, I can't stop saying the wrong way. I'm so, so, so sorry, chat. Like, it's just, it's ingrained into my brain. Uh, the chest. Ooh, a basin. All right, I'm digging it. And then we just need to offload this stuff. Fantastic. All right, from here, we're gonna, we are going to head back to Manshire and finally knock out the next contract. All right, y'all, we're now back in Manshire, fully rested. Got a bunch of healing supplies. I'll reorganize my gear. We do have some mead. We have food, healing supplies. Uh, we have our two nets. We should be good to go. Go ahead and talk to old Nud here. Uh, contracts, fugitive's hand. Good luck. All right, we're going to head up to Outpost Danbane. I'll meet y'all over there. All right, we're just outside of uh, Outpost Danbane. And it is raining, so we're our, not our fatigue. Our uh, fumble chance is going to be increased a little bit. What are we facing? Three dudes. I mean, I would love to, you know, go toe to toe with these guys. Four dudes. Uh. I mean, we could try it. We could try. Just trying it out. Just trying it out. Okay. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Would have been better if they were in a better position. All right, we're now inside. I got rid of my wetness, so that's not going to affect us anymore. I do have our uh, silver cup just in case we fight a mage and get caught on fire. All right, these two. Oh, my God. Three sword dudes. Well, two sword dudes and a. Oh, my God. This might be rough. All right, I'm going to use the shield bash. Hopefully it knocks them back. Did not. There we go.
There you go, Arna. Let's get out of here. Okay, two sword dudes would seize the initiative. Probably not the best idea to take those guys on, but we lived. Scary, but we lived. Take a look inside the bookshelf. We get range weapon treaty two. Go ahead and read that. That could be the boss room considering they heard us. I swear, every time there's a boss room, they, they can hear you from like five rooms away. Yep, 100%. Um, let me think about what we're fighting here. I know we're going to fight one of those guys. There we go. Toss the net. Beautiful. And he's dead. Love to see that. Hello, bad guy. Nice. Our accuracy is still in the gutter. Okay, cupboard's gonna be empty. No chest though. Wardrobe's empty. Wait. Brace for impact. He missed. Shield bass. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's go. But then he kicked me into the wall, so it's the same thing. <laughs> Forgot he has a kick. Another net. May as well take it. Ah, uh, man catchers. Come to right here. Noise. Don't you run away from me. Uh, let's see, a purse and a silver ring. Gotta merge my purse over. Merge this purse. Drop and drop. I got my backpack out again, chat, and I did not sell these two books off. So I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. I'm gonna drop this, drop my backpack off. Grab the occult cloak. Maybe we'll have a better time with that. Who knows? Check this room out next. Cupboard's empty. Oh, room's empty. Nightstand. What's inside of the chest? There it is, the deer antlers. If you're wondering why I'm so excited, I already have moose antlers and the general goods merchant inside of Manshire will give us a quest and give us a lot of money for that. Ooh, 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 ooh my goodness. Inside the cupboard, empty, and I uh, gotta reorganize. All right, so there's a couple of question marks inside. I was worried about cooldowns. 12, 12, 8, and 8. But those cooldowns aren't as big of an issue as I originally thought. 
Another copper ring. Hello, swordsman. Nice. Good counter. So the cupboard's gonna be empty. Night Sand's empty. Okay, off with his head. Wait for the other guy to come to us. Actually, you know what? Better positioning would be right here. Kick him right into the wall. Or shield bash into the wall, which didn't work, obviously. That was his only two moves. Good counter. Another shield bash. That one worked. There we go. Now I have to start putting points into vitality so we can unlock the next skill, which will be... Let me put a point into vitality. I'll show you what it is. Which will be this one. Last Bastion. And it looks like I have to put freaking four more points into vitality. It's going to be stupid. All right. Well, either way, I'm pouring points into here to unlock. Actually, I don't necessarily have to have it. I could buy the book for it. So that's not a concern of mine. Um, that's actually really, really good if I could just buy the book. Um, so I'll put uh, vitality up to 15. And then I think I need to work out an accuracy because the like, like we mentioned earlier in the game, right? I want to do two copper rings and a copper chain have like life drain. I have to make my accuracy up somehow. So five points into perception, get our accuracy up there a little bit. Should be OK. Fumble chance or something I can do about that. That's just going to be an issue. Probably the stupidest way to make this play through. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I have to have fun with this game. It's not about, hey, let's make the thing the smartest way you can possibly make it. It's about having fun, and I like to have a lot of fun. And this dungeon is now fully explored. We can get out of here. Can I grab my backpack up? Uh, see if these guys dropped any new weapons. Spear. Brown shield, dirt, hatchet. Nothing new for us. Most of these guys were like the newer enemies were mainly uh, two-handed weapon users. All right, now we're back in Manshire. We're going to talk to Nud here, grab our reward. Got 510 crowns for that. Good deal. All right, y'all. We just had the rest before all the shops were open. Uh, but now we can start selling items off. Let's see here. Sell. Sell. Sell, sell. Sell the silver ring. I drop that off. And now we're going to talk to this dude again. Got any work for us? Keep listening. We finished his task. Again, he needed moose antlers and deer antlers. That'll give us, what, 450? Lots of gold to be had. Sell this. Uh, keep everything else on me. Sell that too. Mr. Priest. I need an ID scroll. An ID scroll. Drop up. Sell. Sell. Reorganize and find out where we're looking at. We're gonna need a lot more healing supplies. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, plenty of bandages, hopefully. All right, y'all, that'll do it for today's episode. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this channel with your friends and family. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.